Captain's Log, Stardate 972143. We have reached Mars 2 and are ready to start trading agreements. My only apprehension is that we may never come to thinkable arrangements. Ready the waiting. Where is Captain Marfleet? She's beaming over with the Admiral, but I think I heard her rearranging her blender collection before I beamed out. She, the uh, crash landing really messed everything up. The calamity really needs some new parts. Why would she collect blenders? Can I go put outside now? Certainly not. The United States representatives are about to arrive. Who are they again? <laughs> Greetings, Great Shebok. I am Captain Maria Marfleet. This is my crew, Missy Kratz, head of Saxon Farms, and Carly Moskowitz, my science officer and monolithiumologist. This is Elizabeth Walker, who I will be assisting in the trade agreements for this trade exchange. And now, a gift for you great Shivok from our home planet. Legos, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, they're playthings. Yes, one, one affixes them, to, uh, sticks them together. See. Sheepock! What? You have business to attend to. Oh. Stop! Oh, great Sheepock! You may not trade with them! does not. She's dead broke from that blasted war which is made, what made me lose my shipping job. Say, so you look awful lot like uh, one of the enemy. Unfortunate family heritage, I can assure you. I too have had to leave my country. I fled when the Komotos took over. Oh, I guess you're my friend then. I thought everybody on Sanspia liked the Komotos. The media often tells lies. Right, I mean, the media says that Svilanoa is going to save the trade with Takamote, but I don't think she will. Why not? Because Bovito is getting blasted to pieces and Earth is not. Hmm, you have a point there, my friend. Come, let us speak of more pleasant matters. 50 pounds of monolithium does not equal 100 pounds of produce? What in all the universe does? Please calm yourself, Admiral. This is a completely acceptable agreement. Human! How dare you question the intellect of the great Sheebok? <sighs> what? You know more about this than I do anyway. Sheebok! 
I suggest to the great Shivok we take a recess. The Shivok exhale. Sarkin, are you drunk? I don't know, I've just uh, had some lemonade. It's that earth specialty. Alright, get up and lead the way to the speeder and get ready to warp the press. Ready? Um, there's nobody there. Come on. What if I trade you all the monolithium you want for all the Legos I want? Fucking she -Hulk! What? I'm the great she -Hulk. I do what I want. There's not enough. You have the people to think of. As do I, your man! How did she get a jail? I will not be moved! she -Hulk, I have my planet to think of also. So, how much food did you say you would give us? So, my friend, we meet again. Oh, hi, it's you again. T take a seat. You've been the highlight of my day. They serve pretty good stuff here, don't they? You can't afford most of it, but, you know. Oh, yes, quite exquisite. Has your job improved by any chance? No. That is really too bad. No one should suffer as you do. Come now, my friend. You must get this all off your chest. Tell me everything. You want to squeeze you? You disgusting, mud-colored brood! If you do not calm yourself, Admiral, you will be facing a court-martial when we get home. What if for every 100 pounds of monolithium we give you, you give us 100 pounds of food? Done. Chamomile tea, hot. Singe off on ice. Problem. No one's afraid of you. Emotional anguish will not get you anywhere. And you are, are never emotional? No. That would mean you don't care for anyone either. Precisely. Isn't that lonely? No, I wish I was alone more often. Oh. Well, then do you care about anything? Blenders. Blenders? Yes, blenders. I collect. That's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I have a blender from 2001. <laughs> I, my, my pilot Sarkin found it when I was running <laughs> through the speed. An antique that old is quite valuable. Are you interested in selling it? Well, I, I don't need it anyways. I have no use for it unless I can somehow turn it into an army gun. I must pay you something small. Would a hundred dollars suffice? I, I was going to throw it away. Consider it a deal. I'll pick it up at 1800 hours. But I must be off now. The trade alliance agreement is about to start in an hour. It is open to the public if you'd like to come. hundred US dollars equals zero. A trillion in Bavaria insurance. Why are we here? This is a historic event, my friend. Have you heard the Spila Nova has found a fortune I have to save for Vito? No, where would I hear that from? Get down! Ah! Oh no, you don't! Of the ceremony! Excuse my interruption, but 
but if you didn't notice, there was just an assassination attempt. From this sunspin? Identify yourself. Well, this was my friend Musta, but uh, seeing as she just tried to kill my Smilanova. Musta? Yeah. You are a highly desirable assassin indeed. Well, take her away. Are you the Shiva? Yes, I am. Nice to meet you. I love your planet. Thank you. Yeah, I don't really like mine. Okay. Well, you could just move here. Can I? Yes. <gasps> Shiva. <laughs> we meet again. I wish health and happiness to the great Shiva. Thanks, but you don't have to call me great Shiva. Oh, uh, what's your name? Uh, I don't know. Uh oh. Just call me Bill. <laughs> now let's go see about that Linda. Goodbye, great shoe box. Captain's log, start at 9-9-2143. All trade arrangements are made and the crew is anxious to be back on Earth. The Wolverian ambassador, Spilonova, was able to equip her planet with whizzing death rays, which caused a speedy surrender on the part of the neighboring sandspins. On a personal note, I am quite enjoying my new Blindex 2001. It is now sitting on my honor shelf in my quarters. So, my friend, we meet again. Oh, hi, it's you again. You are the highlight of my day. Not this one. <laughs> Please excuse my interruption, but if you didn't notice, there was just an assassination attempt. <laughs> 